What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video we have some very important things to discuss. For those of you interested in iOS 15.2 all the way up to iOS 16.5 jailbreak. If you've updated the iOS 16.6 beta 2, you have to go back to iOS 16.6 beta 1. It's very important and you have to do it now. I'm going to explain why in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by Anyalock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So you probably know already what's going on at this point. Two major kernel vulnerabilities have been released with exploits so we can use these for jailbreak purposes and they are usable for jailbreak purposes however as you probably imagined they don't work with the latest version which if you go here on iOS signing status you can see that it happens to be iOS 16.6 which was just released today however it also doesn't work with iOS 16.5.1 so these two versions that are currently signed right now do not work however yesterday I told you you should go ahead and upgrade to iOS 16.6 beta 2 if you run 16.5.1 1 or 16.6 RC because beta 2 is indeed vulnerable and with that you can use the vulnerability that was released and of course the kernel exploits that were released. Well that's true however Evelyn the developer behind Elkit which is the Twix injection platform on dopamine jailbreak did some testing after that and posted this quote 16.6 beta 2 exploiting is extremely unstable go to iOS 16.6 beta 1 while it's still signed. So they got kernel read and write working on iOS 16.6 beta 2 so we know that the beta 2 that you installed yesterday is indeed vulnerable to that vulnerability so we do know that the exploit works on 16.6 beta 2. However they did further testing and figured out that it's extremely unstable not the beta but the exploit on that beta so they recommend going to 16.6 beta 1 which is still signed but it's much better for the exploit. So I went ahead and updated the download page over here to give you the 16.6 beta 1 IPSW instead of 16.6 beta 2. So right now if you go here on iDevice Central, the link will be in the description down below, you will find the IPSW for iOS 16.6 beta 1, not beta 2, for all iPhone models. So go ahead and get 16.6 beta 1 right now while it's still signed. Do not stay on 16.6 beta 2 because even though the exploit works on beta 2 it's very unstable and you will have a lot of issues with your jailbreak your jailbreak may take a long long time to actually jailbreak your device if it works at all so definitely definitely do not stay on that beta Evelyn also says this means those on beta 2 will never be able to jailbreak as 5k red calls panic the device so if you're running iOS 16.5 or lower definitely stay where you are you don't need to do anything stay where you are but if you're running 16.5.1 or 16.6 RC or any beta newer than iOS iOS 16.6 beta 1 you should go ahead and downgrade to iOS 16.6 beta 1 not beta 2 you can find the beta 1 as I said on my website on this article over here there is a table containing the IPSW file and if you click on it in here it will give you the IPSW file for your device so definitely go ahead and do that thank you for watching I'm Geosnow make sure you do that before Apple unsigns it and peace out